Hey, we're gonna go install a curved shower curtain. Come join us. First, we opened up our shower curtain liner to get an idea on where we should be installing the curved shower curtain. We used the diagram from the instructions when we cut it out and taped it up. And we used our level according to the instructions to make sure everything lined up correctly. It seemed offset, but that's due to the nature of the curvature of the rod. We don't have a drill, so we kind of made our own. We used a screw and our hand tool. The screw we used wasn't big enough for the actual holes, so we pulled it in and out a few times to continue to strip away some of the drywall. And we did this for all locations. Now it's like the whole hole instead of like just the center bit. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to like this is why we needed a drill bit. <laughs> This last hole we had quite a struggle it seemed like there was something in the way the screw didn't want to go through the mounting bit you'll see it doesn't want to go through we'll make it look pretty later <laughs> says every husband ever <laughs> make it pretty in like 12 years when we sell a house <laughs> But with a little finagling, we managed to figure it out. As long as I can get this through. Yep, we'll make it work. So this is the actual mount on the shower curtain. Put the inner mounting piece into the wall mounted piece. The drill seemed to be too big and clunky. Did it work? It worked enough. I'm just gonna get the screwdriver. Yeah, that's what's way there. Then you just need a hand tool. And we put the fixture coverings on. And just wiggle them around until they fit. And here we go, one tacky shower curtain later. I like to have a liner in my shower curtain, but you don't have to. That's our curved shower curtain rod installation. <laughs>